everyone, welcome back to DeLorean Nation. On this episode, Mike and I are going to be doing a walk around, a road test, and a review of this LS swapped DeLorean DMC-12. Right along. So when this car came in, uh, we, we noticed it had issues with the frame. We found three significant holes in it, and we'll show you kind of what, what we found there. And uh, so it wound up getting a frame off. So we put a refurbished replacement frame underneath this car. Uh, it also has a brake upgrade, and of course it got the LS swap. So let us kind of take you around. It's a pretty decent car, pretty well sorted. We haven't gone crazy to make this a show car, but it's just a very good driver. And I'm excited to show you what this thing feels like on the road and talk through it with you. Got a great sound. It's a Borla exhaust. I love the tone of this muffler setup. It feels throaty, but not excessively loud. And the shocking difference from this car versus a DeLorean is, you know, 1981 horsepower was choked to death. And all DeLoreans just feel like they need a little extra something. And the power on this car is just plenty. Plus, this car just feels like it's ready to pull anytime you need it to. Um, you can just tell the, the sheer power that this thing has. We haven't even gotten on it yet. I mean, I mean, we're just, I'm we're in just fifth cruising. gear now at 55 miles an hour and it still feels like it wants to pull. It's just got a really, really good feel in the, you know, the low, low end power band. Uh, not, even, not even getting on it yet. I'm excited to see what this thing can do. Smooth and quiet. Um, this is, you know, the vast majority of this is stock GM stuff, so the reliability is there. The serviceability is there. And you've just got all the power you could ever really want out of a DeLorean. So Mike, do you know what kind of horsepower this is actually putting at the wheels? So this car is roughly, uh, I'd say it's about 300 horsepower to the wheels, about 360 to the motor. And what kind of what kind of transmission are we running in here? So this is your stock DeLorean UN1. It's it's got a uh, upgraded spline coupler uh, that can help it handle the power, and we've opened it up to go through the transmission and make sure it was in good condition before it before it was mated to this LS. And this is a five-speed car. Five-speed manual, yep. yep. I have to just say that Josh Hankard did a great job with the details on this car. Not only does it have more power, which you would expect from an engine swap, but all the gauges work as they should. The air conditioning is ice cold. And even the Lambda light on the DeLorean is, is repurposed as a check engine light for this car, where you can plug in your OBD2 connector and pull codes from this. So you get all the benefits of a swap, and you're not sacrificing any loss of gauges or loss of air conditioning. It's just a really well-rounded swap. And I love the sound of this Borla exhaust. It's just my favorite tone. It's just like a symphony for car guys. So I've probably put over a hundred miles on this swap now and it's just a total joy to drive. Um, makes me want to build one for myself. There's that exhaust again, just love that tone. Just makes the driving experience a totally different and a, much more of a thrill as far as performance. Second, the second 
early. I thought I thought when a thousand popped up, that was it. It went to a quarter, but still a thirteen two. What did we get the zero sixty? Four point seven. What an absolute thrill that was. Oh, God, that was that was incredible. That was that was hands down the best DeLorean ride I have ever bought that, on a bike. That is the most fun I've ever had in DeLorean yeah. for sure. Paul, thank you for letting us take this thing out and see what this thing could do. Um, so what we recorded here was zero to 60 time of 4.7 seconds and we uh, ran a quarter in 13.2. Yeah, and on the 13.2 on the quarter mile, if you guys rewind the video and watch again, I tell Mike to lift at a thousand feet because on our tracky device, I thought, or the draggy device, I thought that uh, I thought that when we got to a thousand feet, we uh, we had hit a quarter mile and we actually hadn't. So we coasted the last little bit there and mm -hmm. probably could have been down in the 13s, maybe it's high 12 nines. I don't, I, you I don't know. know. The, the other thing about this road, it had some rises and falls. It wasn't a particularly flat road. Coming up over some of the rises, you could feel the suspension lift up. Not a great terrain, uh, not a great stretch, flat road to run a great quarter mile time. And it's probably in the low 80s today. Yeah, yeah, hot day. So, you know, you're probably not making your max horsepower. Yeah, you know, I think you get a little better temperature, sticky. a little better flat surface, and uh, a 1299 is which in reach. But what we recorded, what we're saying here is 13.2, and uh, and I'm I'm actually thrilled with that. That's a great time. That, for that was inc it was incredible. And just the, the sheer power of this thing compared to a stock DeLorean, it's not even in the same league. It's unbelievable. Guys. Yeah, it's it's just such a difference to yeah. go from a DeLorean that's really a great car. We love them, but they're just kind of a little choke for power you're always left wanting a little more and this fills every bit of that want. this is this just it gives you everything it's smooth the power to weight ratio is great it just it, it hooks up it there's just no great. lack of power at any so, rpm yeah so, it's always there yeah Un <laughs> fan fantastic ls ls swap delorean uh two thumbs up for me for sure so a big thumbs up to josh and all the work that he did with this and him helping develop these things they're just makes the car a whole different beast. So thanks for tuning in to DeLorean Nation. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can also follow us on Facebook at DeLorean Nation. So we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Thanks again.